Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to have the discussion about working with the calendar module in Python. By using the calendar module, we can display the calendar of the given year. We can display the calendar of the particular month. We can also find the given year is leap year or not. In order to work with the calendar module, you have to import the calendar module. Let me start one by one functions and attributes effectively. Go to the file menu and click on what you know, new file. If you want to display the calendar of the particular month, if you want to display the calendar of the particular month, there is a beautiful function is provided in the calendar module. That is a month function from calendar module. Month function from calendar module. This month function requires two arguments. One is year, another one is month of the year. And very fortunately, month function always returns the return, returns the calendar of the particular month in the form of the string. Let me show you, my dear friend. If you want to work with any function from a module, as we guys already aware of that, we must import the corresponding module before using them. After importing the module, if you want to use any member from the module, we have to use the member along with the module. Then I'm writing calendar dot. What is the function you want to work with month? Which just which for each this function required two arguments. One is year. Next one we have to give the month. But very fortunately, it will return the calendar of eighth month of 2020. That will return in the form of what? It will return in the form of the string. There CAL underscore M is what it is a variable which is holding the calendar of 8th month of 2020. If you want to display that, then print underscore M. If you want to execute that, go to the file and click on save. Where do you want to save? Any location of your choice, you can save. But timing, I'm selecting in the D drive. The name is what your friend something like M.py. Any name of your choice. I'll be saying something like m.py or month.py, any name. And after that, in order to execute this Python script statement, go to the run menu and click on run module. When you click on this, you will be getting the calendar of the 8th month of 2020. My dear friend, unfortunately, see, we are getting the result something wrong here. Just we are getting the, some, the result something wrong. But just, just you have seen this adjustment is not properly there. Here the adjustments are not properly here. So, but don't confuse, but this is absolutely a perfect calendar. But if you want to see the exact result, I suggest you people to execute this program using through OS prompt. So you using through what your friend OS prompt. You know well how to enter into the OS prompt. Hold the window key from your keyboard and press R. You'll be getting the run dialog box. Then you please type CMD and press enter. You will enter into the OS prompt and please switch to the drive where your program is got saved. Then py space name of your program is m.py. So it will display the exact calendar of month 8th in the year 2020. This is a way we can display the calendar of the particular month. My dear friend, there is a one beautiful function is given for you to ensure the given year is leap year or not. In order to ensure the given year is leap year or not, they provided an excellent function in a excellent function in the calendar module that is is leap is a function which required an argument here. It will return the bool type. It will return bool type. This is from again calendar module. With the help of is leap function, we can ensure the given year is leap year or not. My dear friend, is leap function returns a true if the given year is leap, otherwise it will return false. Let me try this one. Import calendar module. Import calendar module. After importing the module, if you want to use any function or attribute or any method from that module, you must use that module name. Calendar dot is leap is a function. We have to give the year. It will return what your friend either true or false. If the given year is leap year, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. If the given year is a leap year, I want to display, then print year is a leap year. Just I want to display it is a leap year. Otherwise, directly we can print what your friend not a leap year. Not a leap year. This is the way we can write it. 
but in order to test this go to the run menu and click on run module so that it will display the given year is leap year or not but if I execute this program under times you will be getting what year friend leap year only because it is finding the 2000 year is a leap year or not but I want to extract some input from the user I would like to check that year is a leap year or not I want to extract some input from the user that extracted input is the leap year or not I would like to check then we need to take some data from the user I am taking the variable year variable is up to your choice input what is it now enter year my dear friend just enter year but you guys already aware input is a function is always extract the input from the user and it will return the result in the form of string thus we are casting them into integer type after extracting the year from the user we are converting that extracted input in the form of integer that value I am storing them into the variable year I want to substitute here the variable year after that go to the run module and click on run module so when you click on run module it's prompting you to enter the year I am giving one to leave 1999 so that you are getting what year friend not leap year so let me execute the same program once again I want to go with what year friend just a 2000 now you will be getting the given year is leap year so friend by using the ease leap function we can ensure the given year is leap year or not next one there is a one excellent function is provided for you to display the calendar of entire year if you want to display the calendar of the entire year there is a function is provided called a calendar the calendar function returns the calendar object so the calendar function will return what year friend entire calendar the calendar function will return the entire calendar of the given year but this function the very very primary input is what year friend year which year calendar you want to display again this is what your friend just uh, this will return the result in the form of the string but this calendar function from what your friend calendar module only calendar module let me show you how to work with this how to display the calendar of the particular year ladies and gentlemen first of all we need to import what now calendar module calendar module after importing the calendar module calendar dot calendar function calendar is a function from the calendar module it will return the complete calendar of the given year the complete calendar of the given year but if you want to display the calendar put into CL I want to save this program then go to what year friend command prompt then I'm writing py space m dot py you'll be getting the calendar of the complete year my dear friend you've seen that you are getting the calendar of the complete year you are getting the calendar of the year 20, year 2000 but I, it based on your requirement here and there some modifications we can make it okay number of months to be displayed in the each row if you notice January February March three months are displayed in each row no sir I want to display two months in the each row I want there is a named parameter m equal to 2 by default value for the m equal to 3 that when you write m equal to 2 you will be getting only 2 months will be displayed in a row now you can see this gentleman so you can kindly observe this one you are getting what year friend just a January, February, March, April you will be getting what year friend just a 2 months in the row the 2 months in the row and we have some other attributes also there if you want you can reduce the gap between the each just you can also reduce the gap between the what your friend each column in order to reduce the gap between the column there is a one beautiful okay attribute is given C the C just I want to give something like what your friend just one column gap I want go to the uh, command prompt just run this one now you can see the between what your friend between each column the gap is reduced you can see this my dear friend here the gap between the each column is got reduced based on your requirement even you can also say just I want to get the gap between each column is what your friend 5 save go to the command prompt and execute it now you have seen that a lot of gap between the each each column the same way if you want you can also reduce or increase the gap between the each row if you want you can also increase or reduce the gap between the each row there is a another named parameter r equal to I want to give the one 
now it is reducing the gap between the each row is what your friend just each row is something like what your friend just one i want to give something like here is a line sorry my dear friend there is an attribute is what your friend line let me go back to what your friend let me go back now you have seen that the line between the each row is what your friend one gap okay if you want you can also give that line between each row is what your friend each row this is a way now you can check this way yeah this is a way if you want you can also get the gap between the each row is displayed like this but each row actually the gap is what your friend each row is the default is what your friend one so that you can also get the gap between the each row likewise based on your requirement we can also use this parameter see this is what number of months to be displayed in each column each row and the number of uh, gaps between each column number of gaps between each column and the number of gaps between each row number of line gap between each row that we can set but however just writing the argument m o c and l are optional so based on your requirement you can use or else we can ignore that i hope you guys got the point very clearly about the calendar module that's all for this session thank you very much please do subscribe and share our channel